Time to start the weekend in style. We welcome you to Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Here are the starters for Charlotte. Ball and Rogier, they man the backcourt. Miles Bridges is out there with Miller. And it's Richards in at the center position. And for Boston, the star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Kristaps Porzingis out there with MP. And it's Brogdon in at the one. And on paper, this might appear to be a lopsided matchup, Doris. But we've seen plenty of underdogs win before. You're exactly right, B.A. You know what these games can be called? Quote, trap games for great teams. Because one underdog wants to prove all the doubters wrong and show, hey, we can stand up with the big guys. It'll be the Hornets off the tip. Here's Miller. Ball passes to Miller. Out to Bridges. Just five to shoot. Over Porzingis. Offensive board. Richards. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And they get it back. Out to Bridges. Tries yet again. Bridges can't get that one to fall. Now Brown. Last game, he had 28 points. Pass to MP. And he banks in the layup. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. The Hornets have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. To the middle. Here's Richards. And he makes it on the layup. And they get that first bucket. 1 for 4 to start this game. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Boston. Last time they met was in Charlotte, where they beat the Hornets. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A., Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. And he knocks down the first one. Doris, you look at the Hornets. It's been a roller coaster ride the last few years. It certainly has, B.A., and when their best players have all been available, they have shown an ability to compete, but so often that has not been the case. So hard to have sustained success if your guys aren't available. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. From the wing, here's Richards. Misses in close. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Porzingis passes to Brogdon. With some arc. And he drops it in from the low post. Uh, you have to appreciate this about Malcolm Brogdon. There's a level of physicality he brings to the guard position. Nice finish through contact. Now here's Richards. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Here's Ball. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. <laughs> Left side Tatum. Pass to MP. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. MP's got his second bucket on the night. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Miller, hounded by Tatum. Here's Miller. His numbers are solid, putting up around 18 points a game. And Ball gets it to go. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Ball against Brogdon. Pass to Tatum. Beyond the arc. Buries it from three. Tatum's got five points. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. 
Ball finds Rozier. Now Richards. Ball passes to Miller. Clock at four. Shoots over Tatum. Tatum with the block. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. Yeah, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Timeout call, the Hornets. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah. Pause in the action. Let's check out the top rookie rim protectors over this past month. It's Bridges on the wing, defended by Porzingis. Pass to Miller. Six on the shot clock, over Tatum. Charlotte again missing. And it's Brogdon with the ball for Boston. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. They were really able to exploit that defense. I mean, getting almost any shot they wanted, it was that easy. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Rozier with it. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And the call is going to be yes on a legal screen. And here's a look at some numbers for Kristaps Porzingis. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now here's Brogdon. He has six. Pass to Tatum. Outside, Brown. Off target from three-point range. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Takes it inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Tatum. You know, when you look at Brandon Miller's skill set, this guy has the potential to be an elite scorer. And that's why so many are excited about him. A three-level scorer who possesses impressive length and a quick release. B.A., this kid is special. First one falls for him. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams has checked in for Richards. Gordon Hayward comes in for Bridges. Martin, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for LaMelo Ball. Now here's Tatum. He's got five. MP, the pass to White. And here's Tatum. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Hayward against MP. Over MP. Hayward, good. Well, with Gordon Hayward's size, he can be a tough cover, and he's got that quick release, really tough on a defense. Benton passes to Tatum. On the wing, MP. Back to Tatum. From downtown. They get it back. Williams. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Smith finds Hayward. Rebounded by the Celtics. MP's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Benton, covered by Smith. The kick to Tatum. Takes the three. Count it. Two for four from the field now. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Out to the wing. Smith passes to Miller. Shoots over Tatum. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. As a rookie, Miller is already a three-level scorer. 
Outside, Williams. Down low. Here's Benton. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. The Hornets shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Pass to Hayward. 51 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Martin. And he buries his first look. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Now here's Tatum in the game against New York. Very impressive. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Tatum's got 10 points. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Here's White. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, this is who we know Derek White is. Excellent anticipation defensively. And what does he do? He makes sure his teammate gets an opportunity. Here's Miller. Pulls it from 20. Count that bucket. Miller's got his second basket of the night. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Boston Celtics. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. And some changes here for the Celtics. MP is checked in for Williams. Tatum comes in for Mikhailuk. And Pritchard is subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Miller's checked in for Charlotte. On the floor for Charlotte. Rozier is the two with Miller at the three. Bridges and Washington are inside. And it's Ball in at the point. Miller. Porzingis grabs the board. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Pass to Pritchard. Launches a three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Pritchard's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Down by 15. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. And they got to the line at a good clip, but couldn't cash in, and it ruined their chances. One of the things that you know when you miss free throws is you're giving the team opposite you all the momentum. You're failing to capitalize on their mistakes. Here's Brown. The Hornets making their last shot. There's Tatum with the three. Washington grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Rozier from outside. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got six rebounds now in the game. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. While debating the best players ever, there are different criteria. But Hall of Famer Dr. J said, quote, I think ultimately you have to have that crowning moment where you're a champion. And it's difficult. Sometimes it takes experiencing the loss and figuring it out before you can be successful. It's nothing you can assume or take for granted. Well, he got his at 83. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Bridges. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. To the inside. The fadeaway. That shot off the mark. The Hornets have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. Pass to Rozier. Shoots over Brown. Again the miss by the Hornets. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest forcing the miss. You know one guy who really thrives on heavy usage. Terry Rozier. B.A., this is a guy who's more than capable of being a catalyst nightly on the offensive end of the floor. Just feels like his energy and his focus and his willingness to be assertive as a scorer has a positive impact nightly. White, he's checked in for Boston. Banton comes in for Pritchard. A big group substitution here for Charlotte. Williams is checked in for Washington. Gordon Hayward comes in for Bridges. Martin, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for Ball. And that one drops. Miller's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, I like whenever Miller uses his size to his advantage, especially down near the rim. Now Brown. He's got 10. Batten can't get it to go. 
That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Here's Miller. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight to the paint. And it's Tatum missing. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Benton, good. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Celtics? They've been pretty intimidating on the defensive end, knocking away shootings, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. An open look for Smith. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Here's Benton, averaging around six a game. Inside. MP shot is good. MP's got six. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Smith no good. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. And here's Brown for three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Celtics. They lead by 18. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Manning the backcourt, it's Brogdon and Brown. At small and power forward, it's Tatum and Porzingis. And it's MP in at the five. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. And it's Tatum missing. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's Brown. It's Brown on the wing. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. Free throw good. Brown. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. Out to the right wing. There's the three. They get it again. Richards. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Count it. Well, that's the attitude Malcolm Brogdon hopes to bring every night. You can't be passive. He is going to attack on the interior. Now here's Ball. He has six. Bridges with it. Picked up by Tatum. Bridges misses. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Porzingis. And the 10-footer finds the target. Porzingis has got 10 points in the game. 
And they've really managed to dominate inside. Ball passes to Rozier. Ball against Brogdon. And ball with the basket. The assist by Rozier. Rozier's got his third assist of the night. Brogdon against Ball. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. Eleven feet out. That one a little long. Charlotte has gone three of six from deep so far. And discussing the game of Terry Rozier, Doris, what's something that impresses you about him? Probably B.A., his confidence in his game. Uh, he's so aggressive and opportunistic on the offensive end. Sometimes you've got to find guys who put the ball in the basket, period. And that's Terry Rozier. Now here's Bridges. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Putting up a little over 14 points a game. Pass to Brown. Tatum with it. Outside Brogdon. Fires the three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. Understand this. If Malcolm Brogdon is on the three-point line, you better get a hand up and contest. Nicely done. Now here's Ball. Give him eight. Here's Bridges. No good. Great D that time from Porzingis. The Celtics have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Tatum, good. 12 points for him. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And Grant, the play-in was added after you retired. You wish it was around when you played? You know, B.A., uh, no. Charlotte on D. Here's Benton. The kick to Tatum. Right side, Williams. Clock at six. Outside White. Shoots over Rozier. White, good. White's got eight points in the quarter. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Ball with it. Puts up a deep three. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Boston up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. Defense is setting the tone back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Changes here for the Celtics. MP is checked in for Cornette. And Mikhail Luke subbed in for Banton. And the Hornets making a change here. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Boston. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. On the court for Charlotte, Ball and Rozier, they man the backcourt. Miller is out there with Miles Bridges, and it's Richards in at the five. Pritchard, the pass to MP, and MP throws it down. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Pass to Miller. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got six assists in the game. The Celtics have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Mikhailu, the pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Shot from 12. Deflected. And they recover it. Here's Brissett. And again, Boston with the triple. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. The Hornets have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's Miller. Knocks it down from distance. Miller's got five points now this quarter. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college because he's extremely accurate. 
Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. The three ball. Drops in the three. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And here's Richards. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Misses from close range. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Pritchard, hounded by ball. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. No good with the triple. The Hornets have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. To the wing, right side. Here's Richards. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Well, you've got to see the whole floor. LaMelo Ball does exactly that. Finds the open man. Pass to Makai Luke. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. And the Celtics making a change here. Brogdon's checked in. This one for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Richards has got 11 rebounds in the game. Washington left side. Back to Smith. Rebounded by the Celtics. MP's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. He didn't have his feet planted. Here's Pritchard, covered by Smith. The three. Hornets with the rebound. Martin outside. Pass to Smith. The three from Washington. The shot misses. The Celtics have gone seven for 15 in the fourth. Here's Brogdon. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Brogdon's got 12 points in just the second half. Well, making contested shots is a valued skill in the NBA. Go ahead, Malcolm Brogdon. We see you. Richards, great positioning on the putback. And that's a double-double for him now. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. Pass to Pritchard. And this season, new post-tracking technology introduced 12 cameras following the action with more fidelity than ever, Doris. Well, Big Brother is clearly watching B.A. I guess it's called the Hawkeye system, and it has a chance to enhance analytics, to create visuals, and even someday perhaps help officiate the game. Boy, it's a brave new world out there. Outside Brogdon. Six to shoot. The three is up. Washington grabs the miss. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Releases. Here's the second effort. A nice shot by Richards. Richards has got six in the quarter. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Celtics. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And it seems like these guys are never satisfied, always hungry for more. They pushed themselves to their 66th win for the year. And they didn't deviate from their game plan against this team. It's what helped them win their first two games against them. Add another one to the win tally for them. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Chris Stomps Porzingis.
Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Benton, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Here's Pritchard, pounded by ball. Unloads. Pritchard, no good. Pass to Washington. MP with the block. Out of bounds. Hornets ball as Charlotte keeps possession. On defense, the Celtics. Smith outside. Over to the wing. Five on the clock. Washington passes to Smith. They get the rebound. Back to Washington. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game.